Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before, and I'm here today with the new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Robin, Damian Wayne Robin. And before I get started, I just want to say thanks to everyone that's been watching and commenting and subscribing. We're just getting started here on this channel. We're going to have a lot more reviews and custom dio builds, custom paint, uh, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, and the feedback has already been great. So, so thanks for that. And let's get into this guy. This is the Damian Wayne Robin, or what they're calling the DC Rebirth Robin. And I'm not, uh, this isn't like maybe the first character I'd be looking for if, uh, if I was looking for a Robin figure, but it looks really good, especially because I think, I think sometimes, um, the Damian Wayne, uh, design, like his tunic gets a little long. And so I like, this is a little more fitted look. Um, it's not a character I'm super, super familiar with. I mean, I know th that he exists, but when it comes, he's, he, you know, what I would consider like a newish character. So not exactly um, at the front of my uh, knowledge. Um, and to get a look at the box here, the DC Rebirth, obviously. Here's the artwork on the back. If you are brick seek hunting, there's that info. And I'll just give you a closer look at him in the package. I really like um, that he's a bright and colorful character because, you know, when you're doing a, a line that's Batman heavy, you know, you end up just seeing a lot of grays and blacks. So I think it's nice to see a bright pop of color in here. Um, give some variety to some of their releases. So as you can see, when we're looking at him up close, he comes with two ninja stars and this sword that is like, I'm not kidding, as tall as he is. It's just huge. And I think I, I I'm not, I, I'm not sure what the info is, but I think some people have say, said like this actually this sword maybe belongs to a different character. Um, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. So if if you do know, just like let me know in the comments, because I'm interested. So I'm gonna get into this guy now. So, first thing I know when I'm opening it is, does the character have a cape or not? Because if they have a cape, that means they've got a, a decent amount of that rubbery cape material that they use, which means the figure's going to smell like a Toys R Us in 1996. That is just, oh yeah, always smell your figs when you open, there's nothing like it. It comes with the hockey puck, as you can see, and the card on the same blue pattern background that we've already seen. I'm getting in real close here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's get him out of there. So while I'm while I'm opening this, I just want to get ahead of everything and I want to say before I even take him out, this guy has a couple of things that I have gripes about. I'm going to get into them. Uh, I don't I don't love just coming in with an attitude of like mm, there's some problems, but this one I I got to cut. There's a couple things that do bother me. All right, let's, let's get him out. This is um pretty much this similar uh, body proportions and, and uh, base sort of pieces as the Robin Crow that came out for the uh, the Death Metals line, um, which is great, but those are single elbows and a single knee, which I thought this character was supposed to be like a ninja, like an acrobat, right? And he's only got a single elbow, a single knee. Well, all right, but for the good stuff, and there's a lot of good stuff right away, this face sculpt I think is awesome. I think some people were bothered because it's a little more cartoony, but I, I, I really like this, and even though McFarlane is kind of known for the dark and edgy, hot topic, you know, characters, I like when they do this kind of more simplistic, cartoony stuff. Let's start playing with him. Oh, the head. 
the head's just ready to go. Like, I, I'm already feeling good about that head movement. It looks really good. It's smooth. And just like the character has attitude anyway, he's looking. I like that. I like the way this goes, his cape goes into this hood that's hanging off there like that. And the spikes on the shoulders, they're, they're all right. That's kind of cool. I, you know, I don't, I don't have feelings either way about it. This is soft up here, so you can look up into there. Yeah, you can see the detail of his costume actually goes all the way up into there. And yeah, even the, there's even the depth of like his red sort of tunic coming up under the the cape and the the cloak, the hood. That's really cool. Um, my uh, let's see, got a little bit of a gap there. It looks like the way this arm's been put in into, but it's got a bicep cut. Let me knock the camera. It's got a bicep cut, obviously on the two arms. I don't like how that little gap looks. It's just a little, little loud. But I love the way these arms have these different sort of textures of like, there's like fabric or like, um, you know, armor kind of padding there. And he's got, if you've got the Robin Crow, if you've seen it, you know it's got that rubber torso, but it's got like a fabric. You can see the detail of the fabric in that torso all the way down to here. It looks great. It looks really great, and the paint colors there are just rad. And then his gloves look like more of a hard um, material, more armored into his um, hands. But they also have some details on the knuckles in the top of the hand there, it looks really good. But this comes to my second big gripe, which is he comes with a sword and two ninja stars, but he's got two just regular C-grip hands here, which, I mean, what, like, you can't tell me this is how somebody holds a ninja star like this, with this, like, grip. It doesn't make any sense. Like, there's nothing, like, ninja-like or, like, you know, that, you know, the cape and the hair blowing, the, the shoelaces blowing, it suggests, like, some dynamic action, and he's just got the most static hands you could ever get. Like, yeah, okay, he has a sword, so give me one of these hands. But then do, like, this joker, where he's got an accessory hand, and he's got a gesture hand. It just looks a little more, more natural, more expressive, more dynamic, which I think is what they're going for in these figures. But these just kill it. Burm, burm. They just like, oh, suck the whole mood out of the room. But anyway, I won't, I won't let it ruin my day. I'll move on. But, and actually, I've got, I've got some plans to address this hand situation. So so I'll get into that in a minute. And we'll keep looking at this, which has a great texture on the cape. They're doing more like if you've seen the uh, promo pics of the the, the um, dark side Build-A-Fig wave, um, all of the characters have this like more of a texture in the in the rubber pieces and it, it looks really cool. And I just like, Every new wave that comes out, the capes and the soft pieces, like they just look better and better. So I, I'm really excited about things going in this direction. It just looks awesome. Ah, uh, yeah. So um, again, like his his tunic here is is a more fitted look, which is great because it doesn't go down so far that it's gonna get in the way of his legs, which I haven't even started moving yet. I'm just looking at the details. These boots are cool. I mean, maybe some people aren't as crazy about them, but I think they're rad. I like the bright colors. I like the the laces. I like all that detail like that. Back looks great. So, okay, we know his head moves. Let's get into his shoulders. Yeah, 
Yeah, this just feels like exactly like the Robin Crow, if you've got one. Which actually, when I got my Robin Crow, the, the elbows and the knees were kind of stuck. It was almost like little dabs of paint were kind of sealed them. So let's see if this just wants... No, see, it doesn't. It's catching. Look. Mm, yeah, come on. Do you want to go? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Put up a little bit of fight. And when you do turn them, they kind of have this weird separation because it's kind of, you know, it's molded to be smooth when his arm's straight down, but when you turn it, a little bit of separation. Not, not a deal breaker, not the end of the world, but I just don't, I'm not, they're, they're kind of ingenious little hinges, um, and they don't look too terrible, um, but, um, yeah, I don't I don't understand the the decision for the single elbows. I, I know it's a it's a thinner, slimmer figure and smaller, but the legends have double elbows, so like I don't know I don't know. That one that one wants to go a little bit easier. And it's not like like he can answer the bat phone. It's still pretty good. But I would just think a ninja would be able to, like, lift his arm a little higher than that. You know, at least, like, do a full curl. That That's all. That's all I'm saying. Now let's get to the torso, which is rubber. And the Robin Crow had a great... Nope. That just happened. No pressure on it at all. And then she just popped out. That's all right. I'll go back in. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, anyway, torso. This, mm, it's not as, doesn't want to go as far as the, maybe it's just a little tight, maybe that can be loosened up, but, that, I mean, the Robin Crow, I could get in a full, like, Marilyn Manson, like, crunch, so that seems a little tight, and I think, I think it's just his uh, torso here is a little more tapered into the belt than the Robin Crow, which I think had a looser rubber over it, so it was a little more giving when you get into this bend here. Um, and does he have a does he have a waist? I'm afraid these legs are just gonna pop out. Yeah, he's got a waist under there. It's hidden underneath this, so you don't see it, which is nice. I really like. They've been doing those kind of hidden waists like on the Azrael and the armor uh, and like the Joker, you know, his shirt hangs down over the waist. I, I, I love that. That's good, see if we can get him. Come on, oh. Yeah, maybe not. See, it, it looks great and it works fine, but like this character is supposed to be the most ninja character there ever was <laughs> so when if this is the guy and you're limiting his knees that's all he does on the knees come on wow that is because look because it could probably go a little bit farther but this hits right there so i can't go past that i can't go past that that yay i don't know I mean, I get. I mean, he can sit down. It's fine. It's not gonna. It's not gonna break my heart, I guess. But, but like, look, look at the sculpt of this character, right? His hair's blowing back. His cape's blowing off to the side. To me, that screams like this guy wants to be in an action pose. I want to put him on a flight stand. I want to put him in the air. And so, a guy in the air whose knees are only. Not that, it's not that much. That's not enough of an even. Look, look at this. Ah. Okay, I know I broke the Shao Kahn arm in that review, and I was forcing it, but this I'm putting like nothing on it, and it just that leg keeps coming out. Um, okay, so look, uh, check this out. We're getting into the extremities here. 
the wrists are great and they're that ball joint is hidden pretty well underneath this armor yeah pretty good like you know what i mean he can if he bends in there you can barely even see the the joint the ball joint but they do are these um ankles that look like the grim knight's angles which is just this huge abrupt cut out with the ball joint super visible and i mean i get it you know there's limitations to what you can do with tooling and and uh, there's got to be some sort of happy medium between articulation and sculpt but man they look like real big ball joints it's i feel like i'm i feel like i'm coming down hard on this figure but i, I really like it but you got to talk about some of the stuff that's maybe not a plus and this this is a hard one to get past for me i'm usually not an articulation like the articulation is what they chose to put in it and it is what it is and there are limitations um but man it is hard to get past that for a guy who wants to be in a jumping pose who's a ninja i'm sure i'll i'm sure i'll get creative and It, come on. I, you know, I, I'm, so right away, my thought would be, if you're kind of a mod person or somebody that needs to have the, the most articulation, I, my starting point, I think, would be to shave down right there. Because it looks like that's what's hitting. And that you could get some more. Eh, you know what I mean? There's a little more room. Those, those knees could bend a little bit more. But it's it's running into himself there. All right, let's let's give him some of his accessories, and I want to talk about this sword. By the way, I, I didn't actually hold it up. It looks rad. Like the the blade is um has got dings, you know. It's 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 seen some some damage. Look at my hand. The handle has a lot of detail. Has this like. You know, kind of texture on it with the grip there. I'm not. I can. I'm drawing a blank of what word I would even use to describe this kind of look of this metal that that's not polished smooth, but it looks good. And these these ninja stars, let's look at them. Pretty good. They're they're cool. They they look cool. They got a tiny bit of texture on them. They're not just perfectly smooth. But, um, you know, good-looking sword that fits right in that hand like that. And it's huge. Look at how big it is. It actually looks pretty cool. Uh, but this, this is how I'm supposed to... It, how, how would you... Look. The box on the back has this hand that is like, yes, a cool expressive hand gesture that holds this exact ninja star just so. And all you've given me is this. So, I, I mean, I guess he holds it like that. I don't know. It doesn't fit in there very well. See? How about this one? Can you hold this one? No, nope. Great. Thank you. It could be cool, maybe, if you get him in there. If you can get him in there to maybe have him be holding two of them. But you, you know, but the, the whole point of holding two would be there, like they have too many blades on them. So if I put two in his hand, what I'm getting at here is if I put two in his hand, well, they just kind of sit there the same way. I mean, maybe if I do this, I'm trying to come up with a way to hold these that looks cool. Seems that that's not bad. Maybe. There, there could be something to that. I don't know. Maybe there's something like that. That's kind of cool. But why would they be oriented different ways? Because when you throw them, you're going to throw them in the same um, trajectory. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. But it just seems... I just, I'm trying to figure out the logic of this hand in these accessories. And I don't get it. 
do like the sword. It's cool. It's like comically big. It's also soft. I mean, it's soft. Like, I, th I, I'm pretty. I feel like this is softer than Azrael's sword. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm. Maybe my memory is failing. Okay, let's stand him up here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand him up and I'm gonna move the camera a little closer. There he is. He, I mean, he looks really cool, so I feel bad kind of, you know, going on after this one kind of hard the way I have, but it it looks pretty cool. But I mean, and yet it, this is yet another reason I want him in a jumping, f flying stand pose is like that these legs, they're ball joints. They're not like that. They don't have that ratchety kind of uh, sort of hinge that... Um, the the larger characters tend to come with so he just kind of when you try to stand him up he just wants to like i want to be i want to be able to kind of move him around and have a little bit of resistance and not these just give out anytime i kind of put a little bit of pressure on him it makes it hard to stand up and pose him and then these ankles oh, okay never, never mind all right i'm going i'm getting I'm getting too cranky. Oh my gosh. Stand up, dude. Come on. I know I'm making a big deal about the uh, the hands. So this is my... Um, this is my, what I'm going to do. When I got the... Uh, when I got the Red Hood... Or sorry. When I got the Flash Red Death 2-pack, I was one of those that they sent the wrong hands on the flash. So he has these same hands as the uh, regular solo release flash. Um, so what, I, what, I, what I'm getting at is I'm going to take this hand off the flash that looks like a cool hand of maybe throwing something, throwing something you, like a ninja star that you would throw. You see what I'm getting at? So I want to paint this green, swap those hands. I think that hand will be okay. Maybe it's a little, maybe it's a little big because he's a bigger character. I think it'll be fine. And it does. I know it doesn't match the gloves, but what I'll do is I will have these ninja stars on like sticky tack and kind of coming at you out of the hand. He's throwing them. Get it? Because they're ninja stars. So there you can see him, how he stacks up next to a traditionally sized character from this line, as well as the other shorty, um, which is the Crow Robin um, from Death Metal. Or from Dark Knights, whatever he's from. And actually, I just want to get into a little bit more of this comparison between these two, because as you can see on this Crow Robin, this um, rubber torso piece in the middle is... A little flared up because I usually have him posed in such like a deep crunch. I mean, that's how many? One, two, three. Three full notches over. He's crunched over. This guy goes. One. One. That's it. That's all I can do. Which just, I mean, I wish you could do a little bit more in that regard because this guy. Does it all day. Uh, so that that's uh, I think that about wraps it up. I found this at Walmart. I had a pre order to Target, but um, I've been keeping an eye on a couple Walmarts um, in the past week, and it looked because it looked like they were about to be um, doing a whatever a turn or a flip on their their uh, uh, their their toy stock. So. I managed to find him there. Uh, I, I know I've been kind of coming down hard on him during this review, but I do like this figure. I like the colors. I like the sculpt. I like the attitude uh, in the in the pose and in the sculpt. Or sorry, just in the in the, in the expression. Uh, so I don't know if you're a fan of this. Um, if you're not a big fan, if you can explain who this sword belongs to, if you're annoyed at these hands, 
Um, or, you know, if you like it, if you think everything about it is great, you can tell me, let me know in the comments below. And um, you check out our other reviews while you're here and give us a subscribe. And we will see you guys next time. Thanks.